want some milk, kitty? Yeah! Wait, did you have another nightmare about the hamburger helper hand? <laughs> no, no, Flex, Flex, this is for real. Somebody was on my fire escape. Yeah, close it up, close it up. Close it up. Daddy, what's going on? Oh, go back to bed, baby. There's a prowler on the loose and he's gonna murder all of us. Mm, sweet dreams. <laughs> Everything's fine, baby. Just stick close to daddy. Don't worry. I'm gonna call the police. I, I can't believe it. You had a prowler on your fire escape? What if it was Brianna's window he was peeping through? Daddy! Everything's okay, baby, but until we catch this guy, you sleeping in the bathtub. <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner when I can't turn no one else. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then what a true love we are you Living one on one, one on uh, one. Yeah. Can't nobody break this bond. Living yeah. one on one. Go on, on That's just because now we have a friend. Living one on one. One yeah. on one. Rodney, you did not just walk up in here an hour late with no flowers, no excuse, and still expect me to give you a little some some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then what happened? Let's just say we did it. <gasps> hey girls, what's cracking like? Asante lost it last night. Girl, I know what you mean. I lost it last night too. <gasps> I think it was a tuna surprise. My mama says we should sue to school. Mm -hmm. Don't play dumb, girl. She finally lost her virginity. She was the last one. Now, we're all women. Isn't that great, Brianna? Yeah, yeah, women united in the cafeteria. Hey, Brianna. Hey. Thanks for letting me borrow your math book. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for letting me use your math book. <laughs> Maybe I can borrow those lips sometime, spirit. Borrow, buy. Rent to own. Well, uh, how about a little security deposit? Mm. Mm. I need her knees buckle. Yo, that's game player. <laughs> hey, Brianna, I hate to ask you this, but can I borrow your English book? Mm-hmm. Spirit English book. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. It really saved my butt. That's a butt worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna. Who is better, him or Josh? Better at what? You know, something, something. Oh, well, you, you know, I mean, neither one was better. They were just different. Yeah. Yeah, cause, you know, boys are like snowflakes. No two are alike. Right? <laughs> Wait a minute. You two haven't done it yet, have you? Oh, my God! I can't believe that we thought you were one of us. But you're not. Virgin! <laughs> that did not just happen. Yeah. We used to be the two most popular girls in school. Yeah, I know. But at this rate, we're going to be freaks like the girls in the mime club. <laughs> There have been reports of a suspicious character lurking around the building. Mm -hmm. Lurking. <laughs> Someone broke into our mailboxes. And poor Dwayne here had a robbery attempt. So what does that tell you? That Dwayne has nothing worth stealing? <laughs> no, that we have to reclaim our neighborhood. So tomorrow night, we are going to patrol our buildings and show these criminals that we mean business. That's right. That's right. Oh, uh, uh, Mike, and uh, speaking of business, can you not park your ice cream cart on my parking space? I. I'm on a diet, and those locks are easy to pick. <laughs> uh, Cheryl, uh, everyone's leaving now. I, I know. It's just that I, um, Arnaz is thinking about sex. <laughs> Your son is a 17-year-old boy. That's all he's thinking about. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he's just thinking about uh, puppies and clouds. <laughs> Flex, I'm serious. Girls have been calling the house night and day. He's been missing his curfew when he's out on dates. Has Arnez's father spoken to him? His father is shacked up in Valley with some hoochie half his age selling pookie shells on the beach. 
Um, Flex, could, could you have the talk with him? Oh, ooh, I don't know, Cheryl. No, no, it it no, might no, not be my no, place. No, no, no. Please, Flex, I just... Hey, Mom, I got your note telling me to come here. What's up? Mr. Washington wanted to talk to you about sex. So have what? a seat. Oh, no. I'm gonna have a baby. What are you gonna do about it? I don't know, woman. I'm going out for a pack of smokes. We'll talk about this when I get back. So you see, Arnez, the fork goes off and never returns, and the teaspoon grows up without a daddy. You know what I'm getting at? No. You lost me when the knife came by to deliver the mail. I see I'm gonna need more visual aids. All right, uh, before he gets back, Arnez, let's just me and you talk. Look, I know you're at the age where your body's going through some changes. Some and... overnight he grew four inches and facial hair. I caught my baby shaving. Oh, please. <laughs> Look, uh, you may be surprised to learn that you don't have just one brain, but two. Mm-hmm, yep. So when, when you talk to your mom, you use one brain. And when you talk to a pretty girl, except for Brianna, <laughs> you're thinking with the other brain. Okay, I've heard enough. Uh, mommy's gonna go home and I'm gonna look at your baby pictures and I'm gonna remember a time when I had a sweet, hairless, brainless baby boy. All right, it's, it's just us now. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. Sit down. I, look, I, I, I know what you're going through. I've been there. <laughs> but I, I remember <laughs> I had this poster of vanity. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Vanity. From Vanity Six. And Apollonia replaced her. Apple who? <laughs> the Pamela Anderson of the 80s. Ah. Uh, see? <laughs> Look, when I was your age, I, I let the other brain think for the big brain, and I ended up with a baby brain. Which means. Uh, uh, Mr. Washington, can we wrap this up? I exactly! <laughs> Look, I'm not your father, but. I was a teenage father. And, and if there's one thing I learned now, is that if you're gonna do it, always, man. Not some of the time, not, not most of the time. Always use protection. Arnez, there are a lot of scary things out there. All right, I got it, I got it. All right. Let's say you're Africa, and she's Japan, and there's a big earthquake. And with each of Dakota's caresses, I burned with desire and shivered with ecstasy. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have the best sex lives in the whole cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, this was a great idea. And with these books, we don't have to have sex to sound like we are. Yeah! <laughs> okay, okay, my turn, my turn. Chase and I got caught in a storm. We sought shelter under the forgiving limbs of an elm tree. And as I kissed his soft, warm lips... No, you didn't! <laughs> yes, I did, girl. Hungrily. <laughs> you better go on a diet, girl. <laughs> Get up out of here, spirit. Uh, yes, Mr. Washington. Daddy, please don't be mad. We're just reading these books for fun. Oh, fun, okay. Hmm. Lust in a log cabin. Brianna, there is nothing fun about sex. <laughs> now, Daddy, can you look me in the eye and say that to me? <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's, it's like, like picking a scab. It seems like a good idea at the time, but then you just left with a scar. Are you calling me a scar, Daddy? <laughs> All I'm saying is, is there are consequences. STDs, HIV, and, and everything that ends with the E sound you can get. And if you come up in here with a baby, I guarantee you will D-I-E. You don't have to worry, Daddy. I'm not getting any. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Not until you marry when you're 70 and saggy. <laughs> me and Chase. As we lay in the sand dunes, the ocean roared, echoing our passion. Wait, wait a minute. I've heard this before. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, girl. Did I already tell you this story? <laughs> no, no, I read it. That's, um, Pacific Island Passion. <laughs> wait, wait. Spirit, you said your boyfriend's name was Dakota? Yeah. <laughs> There was a Dakota in the other book, Lust in a Log Cabin. It's just a coincidence. Spirit always dates boys that are named after states. Spirit, tell them about your other man, Mississippi Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, he lived on a river. <laughs> now this all makes sense.
sense. Are Nez dumping you, Josh dumping you? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I dumped them. You lied about your love life, you're probably lying about this. The truth is, Arnez dumped you because you were a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I can't take this anymore. We have a whole year and a half left of high school, and I'm not spending all that time as an outcast. Well, me either, but they caught us in a lie. It's only a lie if you haven't done something. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Oh, yeah, I'm saying it. It's time for us to grow up. Well, my parents are going away this weekend. <laughs> Maybe I can grow up with Todd. What about you? Well, you know. Hey, Rihanna. What are you doing here? I came by to have sex. Say what? Sex, Arnez. I want to do it. With you. Move. Uh, okay. Tonight, we send a message. Let's show these thugs that we will not be intimidated. To the streets! Let's do this! Come on, Come on now. I wish you would have given me a little more notice. I would have done some push-ups or something. No, don't worry. I, I brought everything we need. Candles for the atmosphere, condoms for safety, oh, and a camera for the before and after picture. Smile. Ooh, and I've got the perfect music. Arne! 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 That's right, say my name, baby. No, the music! You're in the mood, isn't it? Look, I'm trying to lose my virginity, not my hearing. Todd, Todd, I, don't go. I can't do this, Spirit. What? What's wrong? Is it me? No, no, no. You're fine. You, 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 you are all right. It's me. I, I've never done it. And I can't really have my first time be with somebody that's never done it either. Every player knows that. <laughs> This floor all clear. No, freeze! Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Epstein, but I'm gonna have to search your laundry. All right, here you go. She's clean. <laughs> Though her whites could be whiter. <laughs> all right, all clear on five, all clear on five. I mean, let's go check another building. It feels good to have a handle on our neighborhood. Nothing is gonna get past us. Cheryl Ballard, I'm in the alley behind the building, all clear. Roger that, Cheryl, roger that. Uh, sorry, I, I, I get that, I'm, it's a breaking, <gasps> breaking up. Stupid neighborhood watch. <laughs> the prowl is breaking into Cheryl's apartment. Get him! <laughs>
and my feet hurt. I just want to go to bed. Wait, this whole night was supposed to be about protecting each other, keeping our neighborhood and children safe. Sure, Brianna's at the library now. <laughs> but what about the walk home? Think of our kids. You're right. We have to protect their innocence for as long as we can. <laughs> Let's go. Brianna, I'm not a virgin. What do you mean you're not a virgin? Well, I had sex. With who? Look, it doesn't matter. Wait a minute, you said that you and Ginger never... No, 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 it wasn't with Ginger. Well, I can't believe this. I can't believe you. I thought we were friends. How come you didn't... Neighborhood. I'm... Did you leave your window open? No. Oh no. Maybe it's the prowler. Uh, is anything missing? Uh, I don't think anything's gone. Oh man, he took my dad's hat. Yeah, and he dropped this watch. Wait a minute. Let me see that. V O K. The Prowler's name is Bach? <laughs> Dwayne, I'm just guessing, but maybe those are initials. <laughs> a lot of good that does me. There's a Prowler with the initials V-O-K running around town wearing a hat that belongs to Von Odell Knox. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. <laughs> V-O-K, Von Odell Knox. This is my dad's watch. But when was he here? Three, two, one. One. Wait a minute. <laughs> My dad's the prowler. Dwayne, why would your dad break into your apartment? Huh. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, first, I find out where my dad lives, and he promptly moves. Then he breaks into my apartment and doesn't even say hi. I guess I have to face the fact that he don't want to see me. What you got there? Just looking at a picture of you and Mom. Let me see that. Whew. This was about a month before you were born. Man, it was rough. Yeah, those jerry curls tell the story. <laughs> Man, do you realize that me and your mom are only a year older than you are now? Man, it was tough back then. We couldn't go to house parties with our friends. We were broke. Your mother couldn't fit into her cheerleading uniform. Well, she could, but ain't nobody want to see her in it. <laughs> and our senior prom photo was a sonogram of our beautiful little baby girl. I guess you and Mom had to grow up pretty fast, huh? Yeah, we did. Well, I don't want to grow up that fast. I don't want you to either. That makes me very happy. <laughs> Santi and Rodney were going out for two years. She finally sleeps with him, and then he just dumps her. <laughs> oh, well, you know what they say. Sex is like picking at a scab. It may seem like a good idea at the time, but then you're left with a scar. I'm scarred. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have to have sex to be popular. I know. Thank God we're cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah.
Love you too, Netta.